This isn't exactly what I planned on. Hello, sister. Brother Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God. So we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. Okay. Anyway, last time... We learned that Morgan is dying of tuberculosis. So that's not good. How do you do? Been better. I need ammunition, but it said new weapons available. Yeah, that's also not available. Pistol. If the Italians keep taking from me, I don't know how much longer I will be able to stay open. That's rough. So now we're gonna go speak with Mr. Van Dun Mr. Dutch Van Dunland. Which who's back at the camp in Lakeley. In Lakey, excuse me. <coughs> oh yeah, and Sadie's been hunting O'Driscoll's. <coughs> Whoa, watch Yeah, exactly that. Good 
Got some candies here on my desk. Let's put those in the bowl here. Howdy. Let's just keep moving. Talk to Dutch. Here's hoping for a better day. Morning. What a fine morning. So we're back. Mm. That fool William met him right to us. Yeah, he really did. Dutch. Why? You okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. Can't and blame they them. They are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just... <laughs> I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my... My final move, but I guess I'm more interested in surviving than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What's our move here? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to, and I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just- There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you take folks up that away. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got You know there's a bullet hole in your hat, Dutch. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. You need the big gun. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too, willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. 
I take it it's not too pleasant. <coughs> Come on now, Blucher. We need to get this done first. <coughs> the Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Uh... Let's stick to the horses. I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. I mean, it's canoes have a tendency to again, sink Charles. when you shoot them. Thanks for what you did in Sam Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Ah, uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. You're right. Just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. Yeah, that's pretty horrible what happened. Milton just shot the man in cold blood. First, I like the camp right on the lake. It was off and out of the way. It's not much further now. So, I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rainsfall and Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. 
Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. Well, so be it. Where are we exactly? We're in New Hanover. Heading north. Okay. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of the... Follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me. Stay quiet. Oh, it's already got the bow equipped. Excellent. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. I lead the way, Javier. Uh, you're Charles, not Javier. Another gang of fucking degenerates. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Good job. We must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Come on. Not keeping that. Stage course went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Let's surprise them in there. Okay. Get a little closer. That might be a good place to hold up. Let's get this over with. And flushing them out with dynamite. Might tear up our place. These folk are certainly disgusting. Someone's coming out of the cave. I'll keep watch. You deal with that one in the entrance. Quietly. In the entrance to the cave. You see him? I'll keep moving. Jesus Christ, what were they doing to this guy? Good 
god, this is disgusting. Oh, Driscoll's ain't got shit on this. Well, so much for quick and quiet. Down already. Charles, see more? Not for now. Come on, let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Please don't kill me. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? You take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Antisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um, Bad things, I'm okay, sure. Yes. The other. Yes, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I noticed. I know. <laughs> I, I saw what they did. It's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith? You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, 
If you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Mmm. Almost walked straight off a cliff. Yeah. Saving damsels in distress is my specialty. Just ask Bill. <clears throat> Go to Annisburg. No kidding. No shit. I know. I'm following the map. Main Street, it'll be easier to walk from there. Oh, and look at that, a gun shop. Maybe that's where I can get a new weapon. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mama. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy Brute got her. Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. That's mighty kind of I'll go ahead and take that because, well, I need money. This is death? Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone! Thanks, buddy. Why is she turned to a prostitute? Who is she? Clearly someone that used to ride with Arthur's gang. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Mike can find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dodge! Did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you stuck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dodge. Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't his stooges. Calm yourself, you don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't know you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross. I bank the bank. She company. sold us out. I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, shoot She's me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> no, me. You betrayed so me. What? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Take her. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. God. Quit your lying. Damn. Head in. Get back to work. Yeah. I did not expect that.
That's... Get nice and clean shaven. Everyone's on edge. We got another dead gang member. God damn it all. I got someone up here wanting something to do with me. I'm going to go into town, see if I have anything new with the gunsmith, and I'm going to end the episode. Let's go to the gunsmith. Good lord, I need a, con I need a process what just well, happened. Um, morning. I'm worried about you. No, go away, Arthur. Okay. Just want to make sure you're alright. You okay, Tilly? Molly got what she deserved. Nearly got us all killed. Yeah. Knew the rules. Yeah. Let's hope for a better day. You okay? What is happening to us? Just make this place work, Pearson. For now. Jesus Christ. Leopold Strauss. Oh great, Strauss has some debts for me to collect. Well, let's go ahead and talk to him. <clears throat> we haven't been in the camp five minutes, Strauss, and you've already got people in debt. You know what? I'm going to say it. Good work. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. <clears throat> how are you? About, about how I look. Okay. Uh, are you, um, are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <clears throat> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are, well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. Like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... Vigor. Vigor, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. Okay, you know what? I'll do this next time. Join me then on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I track down some debtors, see what the stranger up north wants with me, and maybe get a new gun at the store if they have it.